Okay, clutch in, push the brake. Woo! Okay. <laughs> There was a time not that long ago where over 25% of cars sold in the U.S. came with a manual transmission. That number today is believed to be less than 4%, and there's a lot of reasons for that. One of them is the automatic transmissions have gotten much better. They have more gears, they get better gas mileage, they have better acceleration, and overall better performance. A manual transmission, though, there's still something special about driving a manual transmission. But today, a lot of drivers don't learn how to drive one because there simply aren't the cars to drive them on. So today, we're actually gonna teach somebody who's never driven a manual how to do it. All right, we're here with Kristen, who works in our graphic design department, and Kristen never learned how to drive a manual transmission, but you want to, tell me why. My husband actually has a 2004 Jeep Rubicon, and I've always wanted to be able to drive it, but I've never gotten the chance or taken the time to learn to drive it. Now, have you tried to learn in the past? Not on the Jeep. I've tried okay. to learn on other vehicles. And how'd that go? Not very well. Not very well. Okay, well today we're gonna give it a shot using our 2017 EcoBoost Mustang. All right, so you ready to do this? Yep. Okay, so the first thing you want to do before you do anything, make sure the car is in neutral. So push the clutch pedal down. Okay. With your other, with your left foot. <laughs> okay, let's start with that. Your left foot is Just clutch that. and brake. Force of habit. Your right foot is going to be gas. Okay. So push the clutch in, and then okay. make sure it is in neutral. The way you can tell neutral is the shifter will go back and forth. So go side to side, just like the pattern on the top says. Okay. Okay. Just go back and forth. Okay. That means you're in neutral. Okay. So now just for fun, now just to get a feel for it, let's try putting it in first gear. So again, it's labeled on there where it is. So first is over towards you. Okay. And forward. And second is going to be straight back. Third is up and over. Fourth again is straight back. And then fifth and sixth are going to be over there and back. Okay. okay. We'll put it in neutral again. Okay. And now we're going to start the car. Make sure anytime you start the car, Make clutch in, my... brake, put your foot on the clutch and your other foot on the brake. Okay. There you go. Now start it up. Okay, so now being that we're neutral, let the clutch out slowly. And see, nothing's gonna happen. Okay. But now push it in again. Again, let it out slowly. Just get a feel for the clutch. Hear how the, th you can actually hear the engine tone change just slightly when the clutch is about halfway out. Yeah, I could like click. We don't need public enemy. Um, that is where your clutch engagement point's gonna be. Okay. So that is the tricky spot. That's what you wanna do. So what we wanna do now, is take your foot off the brake. The car shouldn't roll. We're on a flat. We're perfect. Push, okay. Push the clutch in. Whoops. Stay away from the gas. <laughs> Do not touch the gas. I mean, maybe you should hold you take the parking brake off too. Okay. Now what you want to do now is put it in first gear and keep the clutch to the floor. Okay. Do not let the clutch out. Put it in first gear. Okay. Okay. Now what I want you to do is you're going to let the clutch out until you'll feel the car. If you watch the tachometer, you'll watch it go down. It'll feel like the car is about to almost shut off. When you reach that point, push the clutch back in. So let it out really slow. Clutch in. Okay. Feel that? Now you can put your other foot on the brake to hold the car. That's the engagement point. That is where the clutch is now engaged and it's putting power to the back tires. Okay. So let's do that again. Foot off the brake. Let the clutch out till you feel it engage. And then clutch back in. Okay. That's the engagement point. Let's try it one more time. Okay, yeah, and you stalled much. it, <laughs> and you stalled it. That was too, basically, that was too fast. Okay. So again, clutch in, brake in, put it neutral, and start the car again. Okay, let's go back to first gear. And same thing again, foot off the brake, slowly let the clutch out till you feel it engage, and push it back in. Push it back in, perfect. And do it again. Okay, one more time. Okay, now what I want you to do is gonna be a little bit different. When you reach that engagement point, hold the clutch there and just let it go slightly past that again, do it slowly. Okay. And the car will actually start going forward. Okay. Okay, clutch in, push the brake. Woo! Okay. <laughs> It's got Brembo's on it. They work really, really well. All right, let's do that same thing again. Okay. Okay, clutch is engaged, and now you're going forward. Okay. Okay, clutch in again. Hit the brake. 
All right, at this point, we're gonna have to actually turn because if not, okay. we're gonna go into the part, we're gonna end up in the salvage yard. I wanna do that. So what we're gonna do now is let the clutch out again, same exact thing to get that engagement, you start feeling go forward and just turn a little bit. Okay. And it turns just like an automatic. Okay, now clutch in, brake, and stop again. It's hard to, sorry. No, you're doing good, do it again. Let's okay. come to a stop, clutch in, brake in. And that's important. Anytime you come to a stop, both pedals to the ground. Okay. No, well, don't push the brake to the ground because we'll do what we did before and go like this. But push the clutch in and brake in, you know, the clutch to the floor, and then slow down like you normally with an automatic. Okay. Now let's have a little bit of fun. Let's put it in reverse and do the same thing. Now reverse, these are, every car that has in reverse, there's usually a trick to getting it in. Okay. On the Mustang, you lift this up. Okay. So reverse is where first is, but further over, but you lift this and pull it all the way towards you, and that's reverse. Okay. You can always tell because the camera will turn on, but now okay. do the same thing. Same exact thing as first. Okay, clutch in, brake in, same thing. Okay, let's put it back in first. Do I need to? Just pull, and no, actually just pull it back into neutral. Okay. It'll, this will automatically, basically this goes up for reverse, but it's spring-loaded. Okay. So it'll pop back down. Now put it back in first. Okay. Make sure you're in first, because if you're in third, it's not gonna go anywhere, yep. Okay. And the thing with this is you can pull it, when you're neutral, you can pull it all the way towards you as far as it will go, and it'll go into first every time. Okay. So that's, there you go, first gear. Okay. All right, let's do the same thing again. Okay, just keep going. Now let's clutch all the way out. All right, I'll give it a little bit of gas. Do I let the clutch out the whole way? Yep. I can take my foot completely off the clutch, yep. or do you keep yep. your when foot? When you're moving, okay. take your foot off the clutch. Okay, now we're gonna wanna stop, so clutch in, brake in. Yeah, it's called rotting, okay. put it neutral. It's called rotting the clutch. A lot of people like to let, a lot of people leave their foot like resting on the clutch. That can actually wear your clutch out. Okay. So when you, when you disengage the clutch, you want to take your foot off the clutch. Okay. So if you're driving the highway, especially whatever, foot off the clutch. Okay. Uh, let's try it again. First gear. And again, once you feel the engagement, just give it a little bit of gas. Whoa. Okay. You're fine. Give it a little more gas. When do I know, how do I know when to release my foot off the clutch the whole way? Once the car's moving. Okay. There you go. Now once we make it around the corner here, get kind of the top of the hill, we're gonna shift a second, so we'll go a little faster. Try to get above four. There we go. All right, clutch in. Straight back. How clutch all the way in. Okay. Straight back, and then let the clutch out again. Now when you're shifting gears like second, third, you can let the clutch out faster. Okay. You don't wanna pop it, but you can let it out a lot faster. First is the only time you have to be a little bit picky. Okay. So you always need to put it in the whole way when you're gonna change? Yes, if you're shifting gears, always to the floor. Okay. And again, you'll learn at some point where the engagement point is and you just have to go past that. But for now, yes, to the floor. That's what I'm feeling for, to put it into second gear then, the engagement point? The engagement point is where you wanna figure out where you're actually moving in first gear. Okay. Beyond that, once you're shifting the second, third, fourth, fifth, it's all RPM based. Okay. Once the RPMs get higher and you're moving faster, you shift to the next gear. Right, now I'm going to teach you a little bit more throttle control. Now okay. what we've been doing at this point is we're letting the clutch out and you're getting that engagement point. Okay. What I want you to do now is actually give it a little bit of gas right before the engagement point. This is what you would need to do if you're on a hill or you're trying to start off a little bit faster. Okay. So again, let the clutch out and just give it a little bit of throttle. There you go. You feel the difference now? Yeah. Does that mean it's getting ready to stall? You were close. Okay. That's called bucking it, which is also very, very common. Let's make it around the corner and shift in a second. Ooh, forgetting this. <laughs> when you shift, obviously your foot has to come off the gas. Okay. If it doesn't, that's called power shifting. We're not ready for that yet, <laughs> no. so let's just stick with the basics for now. All right, ready? Ready. Let's go do this. Okay. Give it some gas. All right, shift a second. All right, let's try fourth. Straight back. Okay, give it a little bit of gas. You're driving. 
a few inches later. Okay. Now you're on a hill, so you get to learn a hill. Oh no, this is not good. That's fine, I have the brake on. <laughs> Let the clutch out slow and just go to the gas, you'll be fine. You so got, I do the you gas while I'm clutching? You were perfect there, just give it a little more gas. Okay. Perfect. Give it some more. Give it a little more gas. Clutch, clutch in. That's fine. Hills are the hardest part. And you're on a steep hill right here. Cameras can't really see it, but this is a very steep hill. A little too fast. You'll get it. Too fast on the gas or the clutch. Nope. <laughs> you just did your first burnout. Okay, let's try it again. <laughs> A few moments later. There you go. Okay, that was good. Second. Off the gas. Perfect. So I put it back into first, right? Yep. We're coming to a complete stop because we obey the law here at CJ's. And we're going to downshift to third right now. Put it in third, straight forward. There you go, let the clutch out and give it some gas. Let's make it up the hill this time. There we go. Now we're in the right gear. See how it goes right yeah, up it? It's just fast. I'm going to shift to fourth. There I you did go. it! There you go. Drive and stick. And you're still alive. <laughs> and I survived. Okay, now when we turn in the CJs, basically you want to slow down, clutch and brake in, put it back down into second. So once you're around the hill, you want to be in second gear. So don't let it out now. Wait till you're slowed down around the corner. And then put it in second. You're fine where you are now. Just okay. don't let the clutch out till you're around the corner. Okay. Now you can let it out as soon as you're around the corner. Give it some gas. I didn't stall out. There you go. Back over here. Right where we were, yeah. Okay. So I need to put it back into neutral. Put it neutral, put the brake on. Put the brake on and just stop. Oh, this brake. Do you always do that? You yep. always do that too? I always do. Okay. Because if you're in neutral, the car can roll. Okay. All right, so how was it compared to last time you tried to learn? You said it was a Jetta or something you tried on before? Yeah, it was definitely a lot easier this time. I don't know if it was the vehicle or if it was the teacher, but. We'll say it was the car for sure. <laughs> but remember, it's up to us to save the manual. So hopefully this video helped you guys out and to go out and teach somebody else how to drive a stick shift car. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure you click on the CJ button so you subscribe for future videos and click the corner up here for more videos for your Mustang.